I know it's a very complex issue how to make America whole again. And, and it starts with communities. It starts with communication. It starts with us all working together. Thank you. We felt that the writing on the wall was that we were going to have to restore the republic because our flag had been taken. When we grab our flag again, say this is a republic, this does not oppose its desires on the people. The people are above the government. When we get that back, and we will get that back with your help, with my help, with everyone's help, with everyone's desire, with everyone's belief, with everyone's prayer, when we get that back, that will be one heck of a celebration, and I look forward to doing that with all of you. How sweet it is to be loved by you. He has now really felt very strongly that it's time to focus here, because we have a crisis right now in our nation. So I couldn't have a more, just a more perfect person, to be honest, to be able to share with us today. Dr. Frank Kaufman, our main speaker. I'm an extreme United States patriot. I'm profoundly grateful for, uh, for my birth in this country. I'm profoundly grateful for uh, those who have fought and died to protect the rights and freedoms. And, I'm, and, and I marvel every day at the magic, the, the, the magic and precision with which the country was founded conceptually. America was founded on two things, I think. Bible and then the Constitution. Both of those things are under attack. Many people want to get rid of both of those things. I think you get rid of both of those things, America will dis dissipate, it will fall apart. Did you like today? I love it. What yes. was it that really stood out? Well, the whole thing and especially the keynote speaker. Okay. And yes, and he really inspired us. And there's a hope. I really want America to be whole again, to be happy again, for families to start to talk to one another again. There, there must be a way to bring Americans back to where we can speak to one another again. Uh, and so I founded the Settlement Project. The Settlement Project is deadly serious. It's doing extremely well. Uh, it's all over the country. Oh, you're a guy. I, I, there's no question about it. I, I, yeah, how I, could you not? I would say strategy. You know, let, the creator is fine. For me, it's God, and it's a personal, it's like a parental yeah. God. But creator is fine, right? But they, he said they don't, they didn't use the word God. It's on purpose, they said creator. Yeah. That could be your parents. I suppose, for some Cause people. That, you know, here's the thing. We're the creation. There's a creator, there's the master, like I taught martial arts, there's a master, right? You think master, it's a beautiful word for me, master, it's not like dominating, but then you have the follower, right? So then you do, when you do something for the master, you follow them, you do what they teach you, you learn, you inherit, right? It's beautiful, it's a giving. What if the master is a, 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 not a good master? What if he's a mean spirited, right? But doesn't love? That's not good, right? That's a bad situation. So, good thing we have a loving creator. And if we give to that, we give to our Creator, then there's a connection, right? That we, we receive that guidance, you know, like a true master, a true warrior for goodness. We're made in That's the key point. We are made in the image of God. This is the cornerstone of America, that the rights are endowed by our Creator. Therefore, they're unalienable. She says that's the best fish she ever had. Yeah. There is a purpose. And so that is one day to have true peace in this world. The purpose is to bring people together, to educate, to learn from each other, and to engage in dialogue and you know, to promote the freedom and the values of the Constitution. The reason why we got into this situation is that we weren't paying attention. The people were, people were uh, working to destroy us and we didn't know they were doing it. Now we know they're doing it and um, good luck, game on. That, that's, that, that's it. Good luck, game on.
This is from James Madison. The Constitution preserves the advantage of being armed, which Americans possess over the people of almost every other nation where the governments are afraid to trust the people with arms. And this is what you want to protect. Game on. America is this. It's this and let's go.